Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Max, and today we are going to be unboxing my new Xbox Series S. I've actually had a PlayStation 5 since the year it came out in about January of 2021, but honestly, I've always been interested in getting an Xbox to expand my accessibility to those Xbox exclusives. Well, recently I saw that there was a deal on Amazon to get one with the three month Game Pass for $269 and so I jumped on that deal. That deal has since expired, but it's important to point out that from time to time they do have deals. We have seen the 516 gigabyte for anywhere between $230 and $280. So today we're gonna be getting into the box and going over what it comes with. Again, I went for the white 512 gigabyte bundle. This is also available in a black model that has a full one terabyte of storage for about $100 more. Given the fact that this is augmenting my gaming setup and that PlayStation 5 is still my main console, I opted for the cheaper 512 gigabyte for now. On the box, you see we have the full advertisement for the Game Pass bundle, but this is a sleeve over the rest of the case, so let's go ahead and get this off. Once you remove the sleeve, you have your standard Xbox Series S box, which is what it would look like if it did not come in the bundle. So let's dive into the box itself to see what we have with the console. And if you are liking this video and you want to see more, please like comment and subscribe to see more. I post videos on Tesla or whatever tech I'm using pretty much on a weekly basis. So if you're interested in that and want to support the channel to see more, definitely hit that subscribe button. It goes a long way to ensuring that I can continue creating content like you're watching right now. So getting into the box. we have our console. And pretty cool if you can see the camera. It has the Xbox logo printed on the box up here, which is a very nice touch. And then the console here, again with the Power Your Dreams logo. And I knew that this was gonna be a smaller console, but I am incredibly impressed by how tiny this really is. I mean, compared to my iPhone Pro Max, it's not even twice the size of it in length, and is about just as wide. Taking this sleeve off. And getting into the plastic. We have the actual console. Of course, we have our main fan vent up top here. We have the Xbox logo imprinted on the upper corner. Along the sides we have vents. We have rubber nubs to the feet to sit upright like this. This side is completely flat with the perforations for more ventilation. The front of the console, we have our USB-A hub, our connection button, and then of course the power button in the Xbox logo that will light up when we are using. Along the bottom, pretty plain with some additional ventilation. Of course, we have four feet along the four corners to lay this horizontally. And in tiny print right here, you can see it states, hello from Seattle, which is a cute touch that they added on. Along the back, we have our ethernet port, two USB hubs, an HDMI out, and a storage expansion and power supply entry. Other than the console, we have our getting started directions. We have our HDMI, our power cable, which notably does not have a power brick to it, which is kind of nice and actually adds to the portability of this console with that compact size. We have our more in-depth directions. And then we have our controller.
It does come with a set of AA batteries, so you don't have to have your own to get started. I still think it's a very interesting decision that Microsoft ships their Xboxes still with AA powered controllers versus a rechargeable battery, but you can definitely buy third party alternatives to put in here if you want it to be rechargeable. I would just think that that would be a built-in feature at this point, but I guess at least it comes with batteries. And here we have the Xbox controller that is the same design, bar and color, for the Series S and the Series X. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. I just want to do a quick unboxing to show you what was included. If you're interested in buying Xbox Series S, I do think it's a great deal when they have deals like they had when I purchased this one for only $269.99. And like I said, they have deals throughout the year where you can get one for pretty cheap and it's a great way to get into the console. I'm hoping to make some more content reviewing this and comparing it to my experience with my PS5 and talk about if this is a worthwhile purchase in 2024 when we've reached the more mature stages of this generation's console's life cycle. But yeah, that's all I had today. If you're interested in seeing more of my thoughts on the Xbox Series S once I get into it, or if you're interested in any of the other content that I produce on this channel, please like, comment, and subscribe to see more. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.